Illicit liquor is tearing the Kenyan youth apart. Just days after three deaths were reported in Thika, one other person died today after allegedly consuming the killer spirits that have dotted the country in Nakuru. The death of the middle-aged man, Ike Locos, who took to demonstration, blocking the police from collecting the body of the deceased. The residents accused the local administration of sleeping on the job as young Kenyans gallop themselves to their graves in circumstances that can be prevented. They also pointed an accusing finger at Nakada chairman John Mutudo of making empty promises to deal with widespread sale of killer brews, yet there's little action to show for it. But as residents in Nakuru were demonstrating, Charles Jaguar, a member of the board of the National Authority for Campaign Against Alcohol and Drug Abuse, was threatening to quit, claiming the body is marred with corruption. The levels of corruption are so high, are too high to an extent, to the extent to where I, that when I reported to the board, I was informed that the mode of operation is either you quit or you turn a blind eye and to be part of the ongoing massive corruption. Jaguar says he is disappointed at the wanton looting of public funds that is taking priority at Nakade over service delivery. Sisemi yet in a step down, mtu 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 mwingine step a step aside. Lakini naona hakuna mafanikio ni taleta. Kwa hivyo wale kwa it's better ni fungue njio ni saidia vijana na kuliko kukaa mahali watu wanaeka pesa kwa mfuko. Jaguar has given EACC two weeks to act on reported corruption in the body, failure to which he will tender his resignation. Caroline Kamara reporting for Channel 1. News are.